Hi everyone, Lady Amalthea here, and today I have da, 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 an unboxing. My Lightseer's Tarot arrived after I'd already asked for a refund because it was three weeks late. <laughs> um, so the refund hasn't hit my account yet, but yeah, I'll uh, be contacting the company and letting them know it actually did arrive. So this is the mass market Hay House edition and um, I actually do have scissors on hand so I was able to get the plastic off quite easily. Nice box. Um, the book is upside down and I know everyone's seen this deck um, but maybe you dear watcher have not and the box on the inside it says and into the gray we follow like a thousand flickering stars and in there a sunlight hollow we lose and find what's ours. Uh, dear light and shadow seeker, may this deck help you find what is yours. XO Chris Ann. So Chris Ann being the creator of this deck. Um, so whoever's put this in the box, put it upside down. But I will not hold that against them. Um, now, after I ordered this deck, I discovered that um, the Hay House editions had some misprintings and some errors so I don't know if this is one of the decks that is um, misprinted um, but even if unless it's significant um, I'm not bothered to be honest I have other decks with errors and um, they don't they don't bother me and I would rather keep this um, than have it go into landfill um, so the cards cards feel good feel soft they're actually a pretty good size um, they are smaller than my last unicorn tarot cards, so you can see comparatively the size. So um, I don't know if this is smaller than a standard deck, um, but I mean it's it's nice. Um, the cards don't haven't stuck together, even though they've literally just come out of the box, literally just come out of the packet. Um, so I don't know if the indie deck and the mass market are the same size, but um, I'm so excited not having the best day. So getting this in the mail is just transformational for me um, because so many people that I've seen on YouTube and have spoken to um, absolutely rave about this deck. So here we have the full the first card in the deck. The magician oh, I'm covering the writing and that's an interesting interpretation of the magician image now the the high priestess which I know is a lot of people's favorite is um, also the cover art for the book Empress interesting concept of um, fertile woman the Emperor oh look at that he's handsome um, and then the Hierophant. I really love that Hierophant. That's a really cool Hierophant. The Lovers. So it looks like they're not consistent as to where the names are on the cards. The Chariot. My birth card. Strength. Oh, what a gorgeous Strength card. Lion and the Lamb. The Hermit. Now that's a pretty cool place. Like she's a lighthouse. The wheel, justice, that's cool, the hanged man, the corners are like a bit sharp, um, this is like there's no fancy gilded edges on these, death and rebirth, interesting, interesting. Temperance, the devil, the tower, that's a bit blurry, are there squirrels down the bottom, yeah it's a squirrel down the bottom, the star, one of the cards I drew today actually, the 
the moon. Oh, moon's one of my favourite cards, and already this is my one of my favourites in this deck. The sun. Judgment. That's beautiful judgment. And the world. Now that's the end of the major arcana. Now if I go through and show you every card the rest of the, was it 50 something cards? We could be here a while. Ace of Wands, oh, to die for. Two of Wands. Three of Wands. Oh, I hear a Gimli, is he coming in? Yes, he is. Uh, four of Wands. Hey, buddy. Five of Wands, that's... Interesting. Oh, look at this great six of wands. Seven of wands. Honestly, like the sharpness of the cards makes them feel a bit slightly uncomfortable in my hands. Um, nine of wands. But so far the cards don't seem to have any kind of errors on them. Um, nine of wands. There don't, there don't seem to be any misprints or marks where there shouldn't be. So I'd say 10 of Wands, that my deck is, um, is okay. Page of Wands. Oh, I absolutely love this. Knight of Wands. And then we have Queen of Wands. Oh, what a... What a hunk, look at the King of Wands. Um, so I think I'll stop, I'll stop there with um, going through the cards because um, we're all already a decent video. Um, sorry, I'm just taking out my tea bag before it over ferments. Um, but I just got to show you this Ace of Cups. Cups is probably my, Cups is my sweet. Um, so it's not surprising that I'm drawn to it. And here's the Ace of Pentacles. Let's see if I can find the Ace of Swords so we can show you all the, an Ace of Swords. It's like a Nautilus. Um, my mum would love that. My mum loves Nautiluses. She loves seashells. Um, lighthouses and beaches. Um, and so the guidebook, little guidebook is, 184 pages um, and it's got a lot going on in here oh each card has an affirmation that's great um, and like it's a really nice looking little book um, little note from Chris Ann and then Tarot Basics for New Card Slingers, Major Minor Arcana, a note on upright cards and reversals, connecting with your cards, readings and spreads. So there's like a lot in here. There's a few spreads. Um, and I know some people are working with these particular spreads. Um, and every card definition has the light seer and shadow seer so um, I'm guessing um, you could use the shadow seer as your reversal um, I haven't actually read if that's what it's really intended for but yeah it's a good it's a nice little book um, I really look forward to having a read of that after I've called my mum because I've got to call my mum not got to I want to she she said oh do you want to call me and talk to me today and I was like yeah I do actually um, yeah, like the inside of the box, when you first look at it, you're like, oh, is that like damaged? But it's just like stars, so it's, yeah, it's not damaged. So, yeah, this is a beautiful deck. Um, it's a nice small size. I can see me like just chucking it in my bag because uh, a lot of tarot decks are so big and bulky um, that they're not so portable. And I don't have the world's biggest bag that I carry around, and it's always pretty full anyway. So, I don't want to. Um, overburden myself but I want to be able to carry a deck around and I feel like this is would be a good deck and I feel like a lot of people would connect to it because it's it's a very diverse deck so I'm really glad that um, it did show up and I'm interesting it chose today to show up um, 
yeah, it's quite late, but it's fine. It came. Um, I'm just glad it came because I was a bit upset that it hadn't come and this was going to be the only tarot new deck I got for quite some time um, just due to some financial stuff. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm so glad it came. Um, and, yeah, I'll be having, having a deeper connect with this a bit later and um, maybe I'll come back and share my thoughts. I don't know. I, I hardly ever do that, but maybe I will. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching and until next time, many blessings.